In today's video, I'll be showing you guys a bunch of Blender add-ons made by the man himself, Koshiro, who's the guy behind over 30 plus modeling add-ons, so it is safe to say that you are in for a treat. And to make things even better, I chose for you guys 10 or 11 add-ons that are absolutely and fully free, meaning you can download any of them and instantly implement them into your workflow. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. The first add-on we're gonna start with is called Attach Align. And well, this add-on simply allows you to align, attach, and slide any geometry on top of a different one. So as you can see in the example provided by Koshiro, using this tool enables you to accurately and efficiently align different parts of your geometry using like two clicks, give or take. And for me, this functionality is a must-have because I'm someone who likes to be precise with modeling. It is really simple to use. All you have to do is select two faces, the first one being from the source geometry that you want to align, and the second one is the destination geometry. Now just hit the attach command and your geometry should be attached but not aligned. So to align it, just follow the same logic by using edges and hit on the align function. And that should be it. On the other hand, we have Connect Face, which is an add-on that doesn't add any revolutionary functionality to Blender, but it simply takes something that Blender can do and makes it a lot friendlier to use. I have used the bridging tool that comes with Blender before, but it is pretty cool and all. But it can be a little bit painful to use sometimes, but using Connect Faces can make your life a lot easier because it allows you to only select one side that you want to connect. And that's it, because the add-on scans your mesh and takes care of everything automatically for you. And the chair on top, the add-on works with multiple selections, which is amazing and can save you lots of time and effort when modeling. Since a lot of us want to win time by cutting corners, the next add-on is literally called Cut Corner. And can you guess what it is used for? Well, you guessed it right. It is gonna be used for cutting corners, literally. The animal simply works by cutting your faces, but this time not literally, and gives them 45 degree corners, which can be very helpful if you are, for example, working on a sci-fi project. This actually removes the need to manually adjust the geometry or to manually bevel each edge. And of course, you can adjust the size of the corners and you don't have to worry about topology. So just cut your corners and extrude your faces right away. Next up, and still from Koshiro, we have the add-on called Even Triangulation, which allows you to triangulate your meshes, but in a very different way. If you used the triangulation modifier before, you will notice that it works well. For certain use cases, of course, since it can only triangulate between existing vertices. But what makes this add-on special is that it can triangulate your mesh somewhat evenly by creating additional vertices to your mesh. And it does this by preserving a 100% edge boundary, which can be useful for bending the whole model as a soft body or simply just have a starting point for more complex stuff. From triangles and triangulation, let's go now to something more pleasant, which is quads, with an add-on called Face Regulator. And this one can be your best friend when it comes to getting clean quad topology. It works by taking your quad selection and cleaning it up by making the whole thing rectangular, evening out your faces. And of course, it does all this while preserving your curvature or flat faces. So the point is, your mesh will be the same, but your topology will be much more even and much more clean. And it is not just limited to one type of rectangulation. Since it offers you the option to either align or flatten a specific axis, a square face, and more other stuff. And on top of it, although it is called Face Regulator, you can still use it with edges, which is interesting. So since everyone likes quads so much, let's continue with quads. With an add-on called Quad Sword, which is yet another simple Blender add-on that does something extremely well. And as the name suggests, it helps you to slice your mesh by adding cuts to your topology from all the axes, almost as if you project a grid onto your model, which is similar to the knife projection tool, but way better. And although Quad Sword is very good for certain use cases, like for example, when you are trying to edit your model using proportional editing, expect to encounter strange edges sometimes, but nonetheless, it is still very good and a convenient tool to use. Now let's talk about an add-on called Quick Bridge. Personally, this is one of my favorites because 
Using it enables you to easily and dynamically bridge between two different faces. These faces can be facing completely different directions, which enables you to make stuff like cables within a singular click. And you are not just limited to that, since you can adjust the twisting and rotation. What I also really like about the add-on is that you can make perfectly rounded bridges between faces, which is not an easy task using the native Blender bridging tools. Also, you get to control your bridging effect by fixating on the number of cuts, size, rotation, angle, and so much more. Moving on to an add-on, which is all about selections. We all know that being able to perfectly select what you want in your mesh is gonna be crucial. And the native tools that Blender comes with do a decent job, however, it can be much better. Which is why add-ons such as Select Sim exist, as it allows you to select similar faces and edges based on calculations of face shape, which is proven to give more accurate results. And the interesting thing about the add-on is that it brings a nice little tool to limit your nearby face checking. In addition, it has a neat feature called Face Check Levels, which you probably want to play around with to get more accurate selections. Now, let's move away from something normal like normal functionalities and cover something a bit unique. Surface Inflate is an add-on that lets you inflate your grid-like geometry simply by specifying the borders or edges of that area that you want to inflate. This tool works for irregular angles and faces, as well as faces that are on different surfaces. And it comes with two different modes that you can play around with. The inflate mode, which I just mentioned, and the Bezier curve mode, which behaves similarly to Blender's proportional editing, because it allows your geometry to expand along its normals, and it works for multiple selections at the same time. Around the same topic of improving already existing tools, we have an add-on called Soft Bevel, which lets you add beveled edges to your meshes without you having to worry about overlapping geometry that a regular bevel modifier struggles with. And I found myself using this tool with boolean cut details, and it works well with that type of geometry, so why not? You can also use this tool to give your models an interesting look by rounding those corners and achieving an organic soft look instead of hard boring perfectly sharp edges. And of course, you can always customize your bevel settings by adjusting the amount of cuts as well as its size and margin. But keep in mind that this tool is still experimental, so expect it not to work on some meshes. And last but not least, we have an add-on called Virtual Axis, which I think is self-explanatory. Basically, it lets you visualize your X and Y axes when working with irregular angles which can be a bit confusing sometimes. That's why your visual axis makes it easier for you to visualize the axis when using the cursor transform. It also helps you properly position and orient your 3D cursor to a specific selected face so that you can properly and easily add objects and align them correctly following a certain axis. And there you have it guys. If you are interested in one of these add-ons, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.